Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my Italy vlog. And you may have guessed it, part two is gonna be all about Florence. I wanted to dedicate an entire video to Florence because I really loved it so much. It's such a beautiful city. I love that it was walkable. We didn't have to spend money on Ubers and I just loved how it was really the best of both worlds, like extraordinary views, beautiful art, beautiful food, wonderful food, and just great people. So enjoy this vlog, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Good afternoon guys we just got to our hotel in Florence and it is super super cute I thought I loved the one in Rome but this one is really really cute it's giving Tuscany it's giving eat pray love it's giving I'm here for a spiritual awakening this hotel in particular has a lot of stairs there's an elevator but it's like you take the elevator and then you have to take some stairs too so just be warm but it is beautiful let me show you the room really quick so when you walk in, this is what you see. Um, and then what you saw, sorry, Travis is in the bathroom if you can hear the toilet, but what you saw is just me opening up the windows and that was that view. Beautiful curtains. We do have like a double bed here. The backdrop, black splash is really beautiful. The light fixture here, pretty tall ceilings, a TV, little table, coffee, time for two. And look at this full length mirror. I mean, it is a girl's dream mini bar some storage and the bathroom is in there are well we did take a train from rome to florence and highly highly recommend i was a bit nervous because i'd never rode a, rode a train before and like how do you know where to go but it's actually way more simple than doing the whole airport thing i was overthinking it but it's really really simple it was uh, seamless we rode business class just because i wanted to experience that it wasn't very pricey and I think the seats and the extra space was worth it. Plus the train itself was pretty much empty. <laughs> We're gonna change, get some gelato. And hopefully there's like a little leather store right here. I wanna look in. I just wanna walk around and browse. Hopefully it won't be that hot a little later on, but I will show you when we get there. Something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do And I spent my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too Good morning, wonderful people. Today is Thursday, Wednesday. And uh, we only have one thing booked for today, which is a walking tour of Florence. We actually need to head out now. So I'm gonna show you my outfit really quick. Um, this hat we actually just found on the street, like they sell them. I thought this was really cute. And I'll show you the rest of my outfit in the mirror. Okay, so this top I actually just got from H&M maybe two years ago. It doesn't quite fit right, but I just tuck it into my bra to make it fit a little better. These pink shorts are from Target and then my white Reeboks that I've been wearing. I think it's a really cute outfit. In the beginning, I just didn't know that you're an enemy I held too close. Now I know. Cause you did everything to prove me wrong. You were not the guy I thought. Now I'm beating you at your own. Yeah. If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive, alive. When you didn't know me, all you wanted was a game to play. And you couldn't handle that I had no ways. Around your mind tricks and your side chicks, I'm a winner, babe. But you didn't win this, it's a part of the game. Okay. It's a little later the same day we went on a walking tour of Florence I'll insert some clips here it was really really cool I learned 
a lot about Michelangelo and what's the famous family? The Medici. Medici yeah. family who basically ran this thing for three centuries. Um, and I think the last isn't it was like Anna Maria or something, but it's really cool. Lots of history here, lots of art here, which I really love. And let me just say this, like the amount of detail that goes into those statues that Michelangelo and some of the other artists did, I could never, but much respect. Um, right now we're just chilling. My ankles have been a little swollen, probably from all the walking that we've been doing. We've been doing a lot of walking, like 15,000 ish steps a day since we got here downstairs there's this like gelato pastry place it's called mm, i'm not gonna even try to butcher it it starts with the m i'll put it right here yesterday travis got these like what are they like donut filled things with cream i'll show you them they're so freaking good i'm gonna eat mine and i'm gonna eat travis's he thought that he got one for him and one for me but <laughs> Looking like what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> Cause they're that good. I asked and they're only in Italy. They have a few locations in Milan, some in Rome and then one here. So that made me really sad, but let me show you what they look like. They're made with a brioche, brioche bread. Okay. Yeah, they're basically what I wish donuts tasted like in the US. They're so freaking good, but yeah. I'm going to eat maybe some of mine right now. We're going to relax a little bit. We're going to go back to like the leather market. If you don't know, uh, Florence is known for leather and gold years. And they have like a little jewelry um, shops on the bridge. So hopefully I'll get something um, there. Travis wants to go to the leather market. I'm done souvenir shopping. So that's great. And then other than that tonight, I think just walk around a little bit more um yeah so that's it sorry I'm, I'm like my thoughts I feel like are having a hard time coming together but I'm just focused on this donut thing so <laughs> priorities <laughs> <laughs> So right now we're at Michelangelo's palace and we're here watching the sunset. It's very beautiful. There's a lot of people here. It was a climb to get up here, but it was worth the climb. It was worth the climb. Who sings that song? Miley Cyrus. It's okay if you don't know that one. It's a party in the It's a party in the I'm surprised you know that one. That's a good one. Okay, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. In the beginning, I just didn't know that you're an enemy I held too close. Now I know. Cause you did everything to prove me wrong. You were not the guy I thought. Now I'm beating you at your own. I'll put it on the screen because I still can't get it right. It is so pretty beautiful. It's basically five villages about an hour and a half, two hours from Florence. Similar to the Amalfi Coast, but what I hear is a lot less crowded. It's just so, so beautiful. I'm going to show you a clip of one of the little villages that we are at right now. Basically, I booked this tour with TripAdvisor and you're in a group. They take you to all 
was you can like three, or, three out of the five villages. And I would say experience level, probably eight out of 10. It could just be a little bit more organized. If you're thinking about the water is just so much fun. I played in the ocean, Travis and I played in the ocean for a little bit. And that was really fun too. I forgot how much I love doing that. Today was so much fun. It's a 12 hour tour, so it's like a whole day thing. Florence that's visiting? I would. It's definitely a very fun experience. You get to learn a lot of culture, about the areas, and uh, beautiful views. It's breathtaking. Yes. That's like the number one thing from this day trip is the beautiful views. And if you're a flower girl, like you love flowers, these flowers are so freaking beautiful. I don't know what they're called, but I wish I had them in my house. Like, come on. Unreal. had time to show you guys this in the vlog. Best thing I bought in Florence were two things. One being this ring is a 18 karat gold plated ring, I believe. And I don't know what the gem is. It's not an emerald because it's a bit lighter than an emerald, but so, so beautiful. They had one like this um, that was an amethyst. And I almost went with that because amethyst is my birthday, but against my skin tone, I just thought the green one looked beautiful. Another cute thing for souvenirs is that you can find these all around Florence, but I got these like little leather tray holders. You can put you know, like your watches in here, earrings, you just put them on your dresser. They had a bunch of different colors. I got my mom one too, but I thought these were super cute. Travis ended up getting me this cute leather bag from one of the leather shops, which I'm so excited. And he got a bunch of leather things for himself and for his dad. I don't really think I've seen such great quality of leather for the price point that it was in Florence. So definitely, and you can find a leather gift for everyone. Wallet, gloves, purse, duffel bag. Like there's someone you know that could use a good leather something. So definitely highly, highly recommend that. Another thing that Flor Florence is known for is their paper. Which I did not know that. So I got this little um, one for me. It's blue. My, that's my favorite color. And just to write like little thank you notes on. Okay, I had to run and get this. I do not know how I forgot to um, show you guys this. I left this out of the Rome Sicily vlog, but I actually got this wine in Sicily. This is almond wine. Guys, you can, I didn't really see this so much in Florence, but if you go to Rome, I saw it a couple of places. Sicily, I saw it a lot of different places. I'm not a big drinker anymore, but I love almond flavored things. And I had this at a restaurant and I just had to. So things like these are great souvenirs. That's for last guys, this perfume. This is the TikTok viral perfumery place that you see in Florence and all the girls that love perfume go there, right? So I knew I was gonna go there and I just ha we just happened to walk by it. We got to Florence and we're like, oh, we're just gonna do some walking, okay? We happened to walk by there and I had to get three of them. I got one for me, one for my mom and one for my aunt and I had the, I had theirs gift wrapped. Obviously mine is not gift wrapped, but I smelled probably 10 fragrances in there and they probably had maybe 50 to 60. I don't, I don't see how you couldn't like it. Like I smelled this, Travis was actually helping me pick one for myself, my mom and my aunt. And this was the one that we liked the most. And what I like the most about this is that after the perfume is gone, the bottle itself is so beautiful. As you can see over the moon about all the things that i got but especially that perfume in this ring <laughs> okay it just they really just made the trip for me um i had such a great time in italy such a great time in florence and 
that's my oven. <laughs> I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments below. Highly, highly recommend Florence in Cinque Terre. Love it. Better than the Amalfi Coast. From what I'm seeing, I've never been to the Amalfi Coast, but in my opinion, so much better. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.